Another thing we're going to cover in this unit is how to read and write whole notes and thread notes. So let's sort of introduce that idea. So this is obviously whole. These are all obviously holes. But just giving me, if I just annotate the diameter, for example, here, if I were to just say the diameter, well, that's not telling me much because it also has a depth. How deep does it go? Oh, one inch. So I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to actually put that in the note that I can edit. I'm going to double click or double click on this dimension. Now, a lot of you guys have this screen pop up all the time. It's because you have this check mark checked. It edits it as soon as it opens. This is an edit dimension box. In other words, I can add things to my dimension. I'm going to add a depth. I'm going to select my depth symbol, and I'm going to type in a depth of 1.00. Oops, not 10. 1.00. And I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to click on this little green dot so I can drag it a little bit out so it's not going off the page. But now I know everything there is to know about this hole. I know its size and its depth. I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. I'm going to click on the center circle, not the outer circle. It's important for this. It's doing it this way. And I know the diameter of the hole itself is 0.25. It's supposed to be 0.25. What about the diameter of this outer counterbore? What is that? Well, that's 0.38. And how do I know it's a counterbore? Well, we're going to cover that more in detail later. What about the depth of these things? What about the depth of the hole itself? Well, the depth of the hole is also one inch. We could figure that out by looking at it. What's the depth of my counterbore? Well, it's, hold on, it's 0.25. Well, this is really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these things to what we call our whole note. We're going to add these notes to it. So the first things first is I'm going to add a depth. A depth of 1.00 again. Then I'm going to go down to the next line by hitting enter. And I'm going to type in the rest of it. So the first things first, this is what we call a counterbore hole. You can tell why this exists. Just look at the shape. A countersink, on the other hand... Well, that symbol comes from here. Look at the shape. This is talking about a hole for like a bolt, maybe. And this is talking about a hole for maybe a nail or a screw. You can see the shapes and why they matter. They're circular, but from a front view or section view, it kind of looks like it's going at an angle. So I'm going to add the counterbore, and I'll show you that in a second. In fact, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to add more to this in a second, but I want to show you what I'm talking about. So we look back at our drill box. We hit F7, and we get rid of all this. You can see... Well, yeah, of course it's circular. The counterbore hole is circular, but if we look at it, from the side view, it looks like a cylinder. And from a side view, this looks like a V. So that's why they use those symbols. But again, you can tell how it's kind of a hole for a maybe a screw or a nail, and this is a hole for a bolt. So we go back here, and I'm going to add to this. I'm going to say this has a diameter, this counterbore diameter, it is, well, what did we just say it was? Well, I think we said it was 0.38. So we'll write in 0.38. Next to the diameter, we noticed that it also had a depth. Let me add a space in between those two. So it had a depth of, I believe, 0 0.25. And so there's the whole whole note. We can do the same thing for this. We can add a countersink symbol. We don't want to go to the outside. We want to go to the inside. We can do the exact same thing. This is a lot of fun, right? You might think, well, it's so much fun, Mr. Anderson. Can we just, can we please do more? So you can go down to the next line. You can add the countersink symbol. And you're probably thinking to yourself, can we, do, can we do this more? The answer is yes, you could write it out. And it's kind of cool that you can edit the dimension to say whatever you want. In fact, let's do that. Let's edit the dimension to say whatever we want. We can say, golly gee. Editing is so much fun. It's not really fun, but it's kind of cool that you can add whatever you want. It's acting kind of slow, but that's okay. But we hit OK, and we look at it, and it says what we said. So it adds those notes to our whole notes. It's kind of cool. That being said, I'm going to delete all these whole notes. I'm going to hit delete. And I don't want to get the view. I just want these, so I'm going to hit cancel, and that'll just get rid of these. And instead of dimensioning to do the rest of it, I'm going to hit hole and thread, and I'm going to click on each circle and turn, and it'll just tell me the hole itself. And if you're thinking, well, why did you make me do all that if it was this easy? It was to teach you some things, like how to edit, but also, hopefully, what some of these symbols mean.
it's not nonsense you can kind of see as you typed it in you kind of learned what the symbols were and they should, should be pretty obvious engineers usually think things through before they give them names or symbols but that's how to put down whole notes and hopefully a simple way and an introduction to how to read whole notes